dumb. Hi, I'm Mike our Guitar Wolf, and this is a township tale on Oculus Quest 2, because there is a difference. There's a PC VR and there's an Oculus version. I'm playing the Oculus version. And welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so this game is very, very broad on a lot of things. Like you can do a lot of stuff. So let me pull out my torch. You can, you can blacksmith on this. You can grow gardens, which I've done so far. I grew a tree, a giant one. And uh, yeah, you can um, go destroy monsters, uh, which is an adventure. And you unlock different areas by doing stuff. Like I had to build, um, wait, let me show you. Let me run over there real quick. I had to build that bridge right there with those kind of, uh, I think it's sandstone. There was a treasure chest right here and I built that. So we're gonna do a whole lot more of that stuff. <clears throat> so let's drop on our pants or whatever we're wearing and start doing our best. Because doing our best is what matters. All right, and happy new year and merry Christmas or happy holidays and all that. I missed a whole lot, it took, took a little bit of a break because uh, yeah, was, you know, you gotta have a good time, take a break. Uh, but uh, how is everybody? <laughs> And yes, so this is what I've built so far. The It's kind of like RPG-like. As far as how you work, it takes forever to level up, though. So I got to do more monster slaying and stuff, which I'll show you later on. So this is my house. You start off with this. Pretty much over, and I'll show you the rest what you start off with. But this is what I've gathered so far throughout the world, because there's so many things you can do. Uh, as far this is a whittling table, pretty much. It's, uh, things are interactable, which is neat. If I put stacks of wood right there, somehow it stacks, like, really tight, and it doesn't move. <laughs> and, uh, you whittle stuff like this thing is, uh, a handle. <clears throat> then I'll, maybe I'll do some crafting one day when I need to. But yeah. Right now, I'm gonna, I'm not that hungry. So you gotta eat too, so you gotta cook, you gotta make fires, which is with flint. And I keep stuff on me at all times. These, you think they're cute, but they're not. They're little demons. Better run. And like, when you least expect it, they'll come around and poke you in the eye. So yes, so this is my... I had to unlock this, so I had to put like 250 wood, there was a, another one of those black treasure chests down there, and like 25 uh, dry grass, and I built this. So now I have a blacksmith. I, I'm still new to it, and I actually have a project that I wanted to do, so I, I can show off the blacksmith. <clears throat> so yeah, here's the anvil and stuff, and this is where you, you do your, your forging. I, I, oh, no! I need some light. <laughs> I like how interactable this game is too, because you, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's just a little realistic for me. Basic realism is awesome. It can go a long way. Sometimes less is just more. Alright, so I'm turning on the forge. This is the forge. It looks like a giant, I don't know what. And I'm about to... Just turning it on just so I can have light. <laughs> uh, what I'm actually going to use is the forge outside because I want to use this. And work on a handle. But I hope that'll work because I have a handle that I built over at the carpentry area. Or did I use it already? Okay. I'll just show you how blacksmithing works. I used it for a sword, I forgot. Alright. Might as well get this done anyways, because I gotta do it. So I gotta heat up this thing, like, normally. Like you would, I guess, as a real blacksmith. But not quite, like, as powerful as I am, because video game physics. Alright, so you wait till it's all gleaming like that. Yeah, come here. 
bring it to the anvil, and just, bah, just get to work. Ugh. Get all those little nooks and crannies. And, uh, uh, this is just one of the tasks you got to do in this game. But we're just going to just do this one thing because this takes a little bit. So I'll show you around the place. So see how it's getting like unhot? Go back in the fire. So I'll probably do a, a time lapse on this. So I'll probably see you in a little bit. See how it's like flattening out a little bit? <sighs> That's how you know when it's working. I probably have to flip it over though. <laughs> so let's go ahead and flip her over. Oh. <clears throat> gotcha. <clears throat> also, when you do this, Proper swings actually makes it speed up. Oh, speed up. And it's done. That does not look anything like an axe, but whatever. What is it? Ah. Is it done? Yep. All right. Well, that's blacksmithing. All right. So I'm gonna show you the rest of the place. It didn't seem to make what I thought it was going to make. Whatever. So let's throw that away. <clears throat> also, you want to, if you, because you're going to see a lot of stuff on the floor. Uh, not so much the sticks and rocks is the problem, but like bones and uh, food that you leave, like <clears throat> the raw meat and stuff uh, that you get from the birds. If you just leave it on the floor, and uh, it'll slow down your server because it's just scattered so like everywhere, it'll just it'll just work too hard and try to pinpoint every little piece of whatever that you have on the ground. And yeah, it's not good for you. So don't do that. They say if you're ever gonna do that, at least bunch them up so it's not as terrible on your server. So that's a little, that's a little fun fact. I'm glad you guys aren't attacking. Hmm? They're just kind of running together. Are you going to take the tour? I'm your tour guide, little birdie. And I call them dodos. This might as well be. Alright. I guess I didn't put any light in here. Okay. So this is the kitchen. I haven't done anything in the kitchen yet, but I designated like my bedroom here. So, go my PR. Take a right, and there's an extra bedroom in case anybody wants to play one of these days. It has a has a chest in there and everything. It came with it. I didn't put it in here, but I had I got like food in here in case uh you know I accidentally die in the mines or something. And then this is where my weapons are. So I got my sword and pickaxe. I got a boat. I got lucky finding a quiver. But now I can make one. As you go around here, you got to find like everything you gotta go find your plans i guess i can put that away since i have light uh for well i'll show you everything has a little book uh i don't know if you noticed when i went by a candle yeah there we go <coughs> everything has a book and it has recipes so like on the cooking pot i put uh, certain ingredients like whatever the heart thing, I guess that's that heart, uh, yeah, I don't get it, like most of these things are gibberish, unless it's saying I need one, two, three, four, five apples and one piece of meat, but that's not meat I can get yet, I think you get that from a giant boar, I forget what they call it, but it's like a big old boar and it drops like five pieces of meat. And if you cut it up, it gives you four pieces of meat. One each. Uh, I think that's a blueberry. It's not telling me anything. But anyways, that's a cookbook that doesn't really teach you anything. 
uh, this is the cookbook. So, I think if I mix these and I drink it, it'll give me two full hearts. I don't know. It's not very descriptive, so most people go to the wiki page. <laughs> or they look up stuff on YouTube, so I highly advise that. There's, there's a lot of people, like Mr. Witty or whatever. There's a lot of people out there. <clears throat> Mr. Panker. A couple people. That's some crazy name. Anyways, let's continue the tour. Turn on my light. <clears throat> also, this I had to put together, which is neat. Just a stick and a couple of flints. I'll show you how to craft crap. Uh, basic things. Uh, also, if you double click the actual trigger button, you don't have to hold the uh, the stick all the time with the grip button, because that can get tiring and it'll waste your battery. So I guess this is the market. I haven't done anything here, because everything costs stuff. So I have to toss three gold. Uh, I think that's copper and 15 uh, wood and then this market will open I want to get everything open here and uh, to make it look like a livable living breathing world one day is my goal I got a mailbox it gave me 20 bucks one day oh uh, so yeah so this is a marketplace pretty much uh, the training grounds which nobody goes to I like to visit it every once in a while daytime good morning <clears throat> and uh this is the carpentry area oh no this is the crafting area correction so here i always make a new bag because i use it to go out and about because it's just having two extra slots in, or three extra slots is enough and one on my my belt so i build a small backpack to carry along with me and doing that uh, trigger trick I just told you by clicking it twice uh, you don't have to hold the grip button the whole time so it's not that you know big of a burden and again this is a crafting book this one I think I believe I can craft I already have owned this one which is the advanced backpack uh, this is a simple backpack which I'm gonna build here in a second because I'm gotta go do stuff there's a quiver uh, I don't know what that is a pouch I think that's a little pouch that you for gym and then that's a basket in case you don't want to bend over and get your stuff it's like a having a selfie stick with the basket at the end so that's it so uh yeah this is a crafting area and of course the training ground it's not that uh, exciting you practice your archery right here you beat the hell out of these guys if you want <laughs> Training done. Over here, I think there's more people. Yeah. So the training ground. I'm gonna collect some sticks while we go out because uh, since I'm gonna build a small backpack, I'm gonna show you a little bit about my life here in a second. Uh, well, at least this little. Oh, I was gonna show you a trick. So when you gather two, just two, you'll make a little pouch. If you hold the the grip button, it'll go boop, and it'll pop out a pouch. And when you hold the pouch, come up to a stick, it'll just boop inside your little baggie. Because you're magical somehow. Or whatever. You have little tricks that you hold up your sleeve. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little... I mean, it's a lot easier than grabbing them one by one. If you want to go that route. And there's also things that you can get when you go to a level up shrine. Which I haven't done yet, so... Uh, I can't tell you anything about that until I actually uh, experience it myself. So we'll learn together. But there is a level up sign. I've seen it. Uh, but I only have one level up point right now. So I haven't gone back yet to use it. But what it basically does is gives you, you know, a skill on a certain thing that you're working on. Say you're working on, like, cooking. You can level up your cooking skills. Like, they give you, like, better boost or better buffs <clears throat> whenever you drink it. And it'll uh, help you when you go into the mines or maybe night vision or something. It'll give you a better, you know, last longer. So you can uh, stay in the mines longer. Stuff like that. Or you do crafting, you can craft, you know, sturdier stuff. They don't break that quick. Or, and, you know, being an adventurer. There's all kinds of stuff. 
like each little segment and as far as the where I showed you so far the blacksmith has a skill tree and it helps you develop your character either the jack of all trades or you're really good at one thing uh, right now I'm kind of the jack of all trades because I haven't really gone to a shrine like I said so yeah so continuing on this is uh, one of the things you'll find so you can expand your map it's a button that you press and it'll do a woo and it'll unlock a certain part on the map but for me it would unlock this because that's where we are right now uh x marks the spot and i've been this far so far like i said i played a little bit but i am nowhere pretty much in the game <clears throat> i have so much to do and yeah but i got the basics done which i'm gonna show you how to do a lot of it here in a second so there's one of the things that you can do and that is let me get over here <sighs> <laughs> all right so it's uh chest looting Ooh, i need some more of these oh we got a new schematic too so these see now i can craft a axe of some uh a better handle i don't know it does not see how vague this game is so i advise you to go to the wiki page check out the pictures and stuff and see what they are or youtube <laughs> oh what the hell is this what is this? Is that a... Hmm. Well, I can build something better in my blacksmith. I can whittle something now. I have... Uh, oop, let's see, I'm going to show you how to do that hand thing again. You hold the grip button. Boop. Package. Put that in there. Now, these are powerful. I broke boulders with it. Oh, here's another schematic. I broke boulders with them. Oh, this one gives you a strength buff. So strength, a buff, and food, food. Two food, and okay. So it's potatoes, tomato, and garlic. Hmm. Right on. Go ahead, take those. But yeah, so chest hunting. There's, I think, there's at least that I've actually seen people get seven total that I've noticed. But that's that's a lot. They give you, they give you some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, uh, I can get coal somewhere else. Alright, so I'm going to show you a little bit. Do I have my sword? I don't. Oh well. I'm going to show you a monster. So there was a bunch of boulders right there and I used my firework <laughs> to blast that open. And also I guess there's all this stuff lying around. It's all rusted. Um, you can um, take it to a smelter, I think, that I have to build it to, and it'll melt it back to its raw form into an ingot. Or, I think it's an ingot. And you can reuse it again. So it's kind of recycling. Keep the cycle going. Come here, enemy. So anyways, let's just keep going. I know this place in here is super dangerous, so it's not in here too long I can't uh <clears throat> I can't dawdle in here I see there's a treasure chest up there but uh I have to build that bridge and these trees I can chop down um just because they have that vertical line right here it's a difference but the trees over by my house except for the one that I planted you cannot chop down this is for aesthetically pleasing to your eyes. Part of the, the land layout. Which is fine. But I want to be able to get that chest one day. See, setting goals early. I'm going to run so I can show you. And then I got to run the hell back out because it's stupid warm. So this is a black box. I'm going to turn you black brown, I guess. And you put all that stuff in there. 200 wood. 20 gold for some reason. And uh, dry grass. Let's get the hell out of here. <coughs> Alright. Maybe I'll stay a little bit so you can... Um, let's see what's over here. Screw it. I haven't been this far out yet. We won't get lost. Nah. I got food. Okay. Oh! Good thing we looked. Ah! Okay, see these things? No! No! He's blue! Shit! Oh. Is it... Oh my gosh! He turned my thing... Oh! 
He turned my thing into stuff. <clears throat> he turned my thing into a bow, bow and arrow shit. Oh, he turned it into its raw, uh, most basic form, or it broke. I don't know what happened. I gotta get my stuff back. Is it really worth it? Well. Ah, she's destroying the chest. Get, get, get. No, you got me. Ha ha ha. Oh, I don't have a weapon now. That's what sucks. Um, I'm gonna. Can you do it one more time? Just one more time. Give me. Go. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. One more time. Go. Oh, I think that got me a little bit. Woo. All right. So we're not going that way yet. Not yet. But at least we know what to do. So that's another treasure box we can get. If we can. <laughs> Oh, hi tree. Well, you better watch it there, bird. I will poke you with a stick. <clears throat> but anyways, the level of the layouts are pretty neat. Uh, I like the battle mechanics so far. Uh, the leveling up system I don't understand yet because I haven't done it yet. But I'm sure I will enjoy it too. So this is uh, where my... Well, some of my stuff that I use here is here, uh, but I mostly cook here, which I should cook in the kitchen, which makes more sense. But I have most of my crafting stuff here too. Uh, I guess I don't have arrows here anymore, but I have like my feathers and stuff like that. I'll just put you here for now. I remembered where I put you, but all right. So let's craft a backpack and craft. My new axe. So crafting 101 for beginner. Boom! You get a flint and uh, and a stick, and you just boom. And you got a you got an axe. And for me, for a little extra, I make it a torch axe. Boom! So I can see and whack things. You can do that with the with this too. But, oop, go, go, go. there we go. But, ah, uh, no, go on. that's fine. Just the one. And what's neat is I can just get this and. Boop. So yeah, that's helpful. All right, let's get some wood so we can craft a backpack. Uh, and maybe craft a. Damn, I wish I could get a... Maybe I can see if I can get uh, a better handle. And then we're going to make freaking worm stew out of that worm. Did I get hurt? I'm hungry. Shit. Whew. I got to put those buckles away. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of organization in this game. So, you got to stay on your toes. It keeps you... Keeps you alive, it keeps you breathing. Oh. Also, if you hold two things in your hand, it thinks you're trying to put something away. But you can do a little switcheroo. Let's see, I can show you with this. So like if you hold the grip button on your left hand or whichever hand that you have free, you, uh, it'll, it'll split it in half. And then if you use the joysticks left and right on either hand, it'll, you know, shoot them over. Because you know, give them the right amount or whatever. So yeah, there's that. So that's why you can't move when you're holding two things that can be separated or split. Uh, there you go. Alright, how many sticks I need? Four more sticks. And I can show you how to craft a basic backpack. It'll automatically give you that as a schematic at the very beginning because uh, it has to help you out a little bit. <clears throat> this, if you want to change your clothes, which I'll show you actually real quick. I could have got stick at home. Damn it. Damn it. You get here. <clears throat> and it's like a, a mini hub world, I guess, for yourself. 
and you can buy money for your game, and you can buy different outfits. This is a little squirrel wheel. Uh, do they have the glove now? They do not. But anyways, you can paint your character, you get this, does the primary color, this does the secondary color. And all the different colors, I painted this the way I like it. And these are the different ones that I got. Right now I'm wearing this because I wear this like all the time. And I got this guy just a relaxed day or kind of like formal, you know, just little outfits so I'm not the same. Just feel like I'm changing my clothes every day, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's how you do that. You know what? I'm going to rock this. Oh yeah, and just throw them on. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go back into the world. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that my hands were glowy. It's because I'm not in my body. Now I am. See? My, my arms are white now. Uh, where's my hunger at? I need to eat. So yeah, eating is a thing. If you don't uh, eat after a while, like in real life, you will start starving to death. Keep eating. And uh, you don't want that to happen because it... Especially when you're traveling and you're like in the mines. <laughs> You don't want to have to go run all the way back to where you were and for something so dumb that you didn't make food or something. <clears throat> but I'm still learning myself, so I'll probably be one of the lucky ones that does that. But I got 11, 11 uh, fireworks that'll fire off here in a second. Here we go. Yep. Bam. That'll work. Alright, so let's grab the backpack. Go ahead, put this there. Up there, because everything hovers. So this right here, you can adjust it so it you can swing it to where you want. Or give you your hammer and just smack the nail. Boom. There's how you make a backpack. So I need to put another piece of wood and do that again. And then again, depending on your swing, is how fast you will nail. It's kind of like real life, how hard you swing, is, you know. So now it's asking for dry grass. Go ahead and put that there. Here's a piece of wood. I got a picture that looks like a bunch of noodles with dry grass. And uh, okay, now we're asking for some wood. And we go ahead, and I'm gonna spin this thing because. I don't want to move where it tells me to move. It's gotta listen to me. Plus, it's inanimate. <clears throat> and hammer and a nail. Hammer and a nail. Shit. All right. Put that there. Yeah, whatever. There. Turn it. Oh, I gotta hammer those. Bam. And this is just a simple backpack that you can make. At the beginning when you start. And it has six slots. Um, I need a stick again. Yep. There you go. To start off with, which is too bad. It's like just, just those. And that's it. <coughs> Put that away real quick. And. Blam, and one more nail, and this thing is done. Bam, and that's how you make stuff in this game. Bloop. Let's see how there's a piece of paper here. Like, you have to literally rip it out of the book. And uh, put it right here, otherwise you don't build anything. It's like, what do you want? You have your product here. Just laying on the table, but I don't know what you want to do. You gotta give me instructions. Put a piece of paper here. Like, it's getting dark. Boy, it is dark. There we go. Alright, so this is, uh, yeah, so that's crafting. So I take this pretty much every time I come in the big server, and I just, you know, I try to get more than I can. I try to use, you know, utilize everything because everything is, 
really hard to get in this game. See, like this? I don't know what that's going to give me. <clears throat> I have to get 20 silver just to see what that makes. I need 20 silver here and 25 wood for that. So I got, I got stuff to do. Things to make. Worlds to conquer. Not even. But I got to conquer leveling up and a whole bunch of things. So right now, let's go, let's go cook. Because we're gonna, we're gonna go out and about, do a little run, and let's work towards making a smelter. That way we can melt some uh, metals, because that'll be helpful too, that way I'm, I can recycle stuff. <clears throat> so let's hurry up the hallway, ass. let's get some running in. Actually, there's one other place I gotta show you. <clears throat> uh, so you seen, you saw the the carpent play, carpenter's place, the blacksmith. Saw the place to go home so you can change. There's the kitchen, uh, the marketplace. I gotta show you up there. Night tour. I think this is, what is this place? I forget. Just like there's a meeting area. What does this book say that I can do here? This is a mining room. There's the ores, rock, and diamond. Or crystals, they say, for this game. <clears throat> yeah, go back to my pocket. No, my pocket. I don't know. We'll figure out what this room is later. But this is, I think this is some kind of mining room. And way up here, oh yeah, the mines are over there. I'll show you the beginning of the mines. Sheesh. I actually dabbled in it just yesterday, and uh, I don't want to go down there quite yet, because, my goodness, it is scary, and if I don't pay attention to where I'm walking, and then pay attention to key elements and rocks and stuff, I will absolutely get lost. <laughs> it's like, no. So here's a little, this is town hall, or city hall, the mayor's house. Whatever it is. And uh, there's another one of those buttons that you get to push. And it'll unlock this area on your map. It's a little hard to read. I still yet to understand it, but I'm sure it will. And there's more of the maps that I still got to unlock. Little pieces that I got to find. But I probably have to build those little extra places. Like I've like I shown you, there's another one that I got to build over there. But up here, if when you first start in your server, you climb all the way up. And here, there's a bow and arrows, I believe. And uh, two teleportation bottles, which will help you whenever you want to teleport back to uh, the platform down where you f almost first start. When you first start, you start by trees and stuff. We're at the beginning, and they tell you to be respectful, and don't be mean, and be kind in the server. So this is another mini marketplace here, too. So, stuff to work on, huh? I believe... That is the full tour of uh, a simpler life. <laughs> That's basically what my server's called. <clears throat> See how these things are falling? Now let's get some mushrooms. I know there's mushrooms here. I need to turn on my light. I can't see a thing! <clears throat> Alright, see? And they usually grow by uh, dry areas usually and mountain rocky areas and here for some reason when it's all moist there's actually water here so yep so like i said if you don't want to bend over you can build that net but uh i like the realism it's almost like a little bit of exercise i guess this one this mushroom gives you more for your buck those almost give you nothing Get a, uh, 
Because these mushrooms are uh, good for hunger, but it's like, if you eat two, then it fills up a bar. But these mushrooms are good for hunger, and they fill up a bar, and they're good for stamina. Which I'll show you how that works right now. So, that little bar where it's just one bump, that is my hunger meter. And right now, I'm practically starving. The yellow one is my stamina meter, so that'll go down eventually, especially when I'm hungry. And then, of course, the red one's my health bar. So if the, that goes all the way back down, my health bar will start to go down. And yeah, so you got to pay attention to things. You got to know what you can cook, what you can eat, which basically these mushrooms you can eat raw so far. I haven't seen glowy mushrooms yet, which I assume are poisonous, and I, I probably end the mine. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you this real quick. So I had to find this. Day. And then, yeah, there's certain dangers in different areas. Uh, actually, there's one other place I gotta gotta show you. So this over here leads to the forest, I believe. Uh, it's a bigger forest than the one I already unlocked. Uh, but that takes 200 wood and 30. So maybe we'll do that next episode because that one's the easiest so far. Uh, yeah. Do do. So let's go ahead and show you how I, how the forest looks like real quick. There's like a little hut too. It's, uh, I guess it's called the woodcutting woodcutter's hut. Woodcutting hut. Yeah, I got enough to Continue the tour. Tree. Pop. Ha. All right, so we're here. So this is where you go and cut wood because you can't cut wood anywhere at the starting area and this is the only area that is always the same and then these areas I believe are computer generated or mushroom we're getting hot or not and uh yeah so here's the wood cutting area. you can start off with an axe and uh the sun's coming up so put that away the sunrise is always wonderful uh, and yeah, so there's rocks and, oh yeah, see if you need a find flint, this is what they look like. This flint is your best friend. Flint works with everything. You can use it as a weapon, you can use it to whittle, in case you didn't know. And, uh, you can use it to start fires. It is just, you can use it as a spoon, you can use it as a fork. Of course, I lied about the last two, but, yeah, this is a wood cutting hut. Uh, so yeah, this is the direction over there. I believe there's a phantom here right now. So let's go not die. Yeah, this is if you need to go cut wood, but you need to get that bridge built first. And then you can come out here and just, you know, have a, have a day. And that's a secret area, which we'll show you in another episode. Uh, this is another place you gotta build. That'll lead you to another place. Oh, actually, you gotta build it from up there, down. And yeah, I think there's blueberries here, yep. And evil trees, also. I wanna s just run past you guys real quick. No, look at it. Flow like a butterfly, run like a bee. Ow. Oh shit, can I go through? Yes. Woo. All right, there's a box. Ah, uh, there's more enemies. All right, I don't wanna die here, so. Let's run back! That's the furthest I've been in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Matrix here. Oh, I gotta see that new movie. By the way, Neo's back. Oh, ow! See, I can't dodge bullet. Hey, Neo, though. Look at these. Whew. Whew. All right. No more adventures. I don't need you anymore. I'm sorry. Um, that thing where you go with <clears throat> when you put wood here, you get a better one of those. But yeah, so this is a township tale. And uh, 
I hope you enjoyed the tour. The next episode will be starting our adventure. Uh, we'll probably start with, uh, I guess, looting. We'll, we'll do some looting, see if we can find some more. Uh... Oh, did I put that one thing away? No, I didn't. So we can start finding more of stuff like this. Because we need to build up our stuff we can craft as far as being a blacksmith. So we can go and kill trees like are shooting acorns at us. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so go to the rings all over again. <clears throat> Except I'm Sam Wise, who is a better uh, adventurer. I guess I'm a better adventurer than Sam Wise. Sam Wise was a badass, though. He was the heart and soul of the traveling companion. But yeah. So we gotta get more stuff like this, book stuff. I'm gonna put that on my back, otherwise it won't spawn. So make sure you have your stuff on your person too, otherwise it'll disappear when you come back to your server. So yeah, like, sub damn it. like subscribe, comment if you want to. And ring that bell notification if you want to get notified whenever we pop up a video. And also on a, on a fun note, producer Rob really, really appreciates that I started the game off with something built because it is takes a long time to build stuff so yeah you're welcome Rob <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode later oh wait I'm Mike Arkin and this is a township tale <laughs> later